Broken Fugue, Solfege, A Miraculous Ladybug Drabble Series, Day 19, Cosplay. Adrian pounded out the final chords of the tempestuous third movement of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, stood and dramatically strode off the performance floor amidst a smattering of applause. Two extra credit points in the bag. All history professors were offering extra credit for anyone who attended the composer's ball in costume and played a piece by their composer. Adrian, or should I say Beethoven? A familiar voice emerged from the crowd on his left. Thank goodness, I thought I was going to have to suffer through this alone. Adrian suppressed a smile, putting on his most curmudgeonly look and pretending to ignore her. Adrian? Marinette stepped in front of him, hands on her corseted waist. She was wearing a sumptuous, flowing royal blue gown, trimmed with intricate patterns of golden embroidery, layers of lace cascading from sleeves flared at the elbow and peeking from the generously cut bust line. Adrian stared for a moment, dumbstruck, before remembering his game. What's that? Sorry, young lady, didn't hear you coming, he said loudly in a gruff voice. Marinette's sincere expression morphed into a sly, sidelong glance. Oh, acting in character, are you? Eh? What? He leaned closer. Marinette narrowed her eyes and touched his cravat, letting out a laugh. Is this a napkin? A very elegant and convincing napkin, thank you. Eh? Speak up, young lady. Who are you, anyway? Marinette grabbed his hand and placed his fingers on her throat. Elisabeth Jacquet de la Guerre, pleased to meet you. Surely you're familiar with my work. When his eyes flicked in confusion to his hand pressed to her throat, she explained in a teasing tone, thought the vibrations of my vocal cords would help you hear. Adrian's cheeks colored unwittingly, but he continued in an exaggerated, rough tone. Ah, yes. A tad traditional for my taste, I'm afraid. He retracted his hand, dropping the act to remark in awe, Where did you get a dress like that? It's gorgeous. You look gorgeous. I made it, Marinette grinned proudly. Made it? Adrian gaped before picking up his dramatic tone again. By God, woman, where do you find the time? He touched her throat. Marinette swatted his hand away. You're ridiculous. I made it a few years ago when I was going through a Baroque phase. I'll admit, the extra credit is only half the reason I'm here. When else am I going to have an excuse to wear this? Adrian touched her throat again. Sorry, could you repeat that? Stop that. Marinette giggled, pushing his hand away. Seriously, though. I'm impressed. She curtsied. What do you play? Her sonata number five in A minor, second movement. I'm at the end of the list, so I was walking around checking out everyone's costumes. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. Adrian snorted. Sibelius just tacked on a fake mustache and called it a day. I don't think he deserves the extra credit. I should get five points. Marinette pouted indignantly. Too bad I'm not your TA. I'd make it happen. Adrian winked. Good thing you're not my TA, or I'd constantly be questioning the validity of my grades. Marinette shot back. Okay, I'm famished. Did you eat anything yet? She started off in the direction of the glamorously set buffet table. Are you sure you can fit anything in there? Adrian poked her belly, his finger colliding with the stiff wall of her corset. I could eat a three-course meal and it would disappear. It's part of the magic of the corset. Marinette took a plate and eyed the extravagant spread of tartlets, canapes, cheeses, deviled eggs, and more. Wasn't Jacquette de la Guerre accepted into the royal court? That would make you a princess. That isn't how it works. She helped herself to a cucumber bite topped with a cream cheese whip and smoked salmon twisted in a spiral to look like a flower. There were thousands of people in the royal court. Try this, princess. It's fancy enough to suit you. 
Adrian lifted a canapé to her plate, a crustad shell filled with an unidentifiable seafood and something creamy, topped with a garnish of orange roe and a sprig of dill. Marinette rolled her eyes, accepting it. Thanks for listening to Broken Fugue, Solfege. I'll see you next time.